So Disney are about to launch one of their most ambitious and company changing products next year. So let's discuss everything that we know about this Disney streaming service up next. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack. This is DS1 Newscast still in Walt Disney World and I'm wandering around Disney Springs because to be honest it's much easier to film around Disney Springs. But anyways, for today, let's get straight into it. So late last week, Disney held their quarterly earnings call. Beyond announcing incredible profits for the company of a 50% increase in studio revenue and 9% in Disney parks, Disney CEO Bob Iger also announced the official name of the Disney streaming service, which is set to launch in 2019, as the official name of the service will be Disney Plus. And to be honest, I really like this name, as it's simple and flexible, and I can easily see many just refer to it as Plus instead of Disney Plus. Or Disney might even run a marketing campaign of Disney plus Star Wars or Disney plus Marvel to pull in the various audiences beyond the hardcore Disney fandom. Whereas that isn't the only news that we now know about the Disney Plus streaming service. As we learnt that in addition to the previously announced John Favreau produced live action Star Wars TV show The Mandalorian that's set in the time period between the fall of the Empire and the rise of the First Order, that Disney will also be bringing a new TV show set prior to the events of Rogue One, following the rebel spy of Cassian Andor, with Diego Luna set to reprise his role for the new series. But that's not the only big star reprising their movie role for a standalone series for Disney+, Plus, as it was also announced that Tom Hiddleston will be returning as the god of mischief, Loki, for a Marvel live action show on the new service. And all of this is in addition to the already announced Monsters Inc. and High School Musical TV shows as well, which we are still yet to receive even more details on. But what's really cool is that Disney are going to be bringing unique Disney docu-series to the Disney Plus service with one being called Ink and Paint, which is an eight episode series telling the untold story of the trailblazing women of the animation industry. But the one that I'm personally really excited for is all about pulling back the curtain on Imagineering and telling some unknown stories, showing us some unseen concepts and giving an overall insight into the entire Imagineering process. Now with this Disney Plus service, there are still an awful lot of questions yet to be answered. So let's run down everything that we know about this Disney Plus service so far. So first of all, the cost of the service has been reported by Bob Iger himself to be competitive and be less than that of Netflix. So with Netflix having tiers between eight to $14 per month, it will be below one of those two price points. And the interface will surely adopt a more branded model than Netflix for Star Wars, Marvel and Pixar. But with the addition of the huge amount of content under the 21st century Fox acquisition, Disney will be using content algorithms similar to that of Netflix. But just because Disney have 21st century Fox, it doesn't mean that it will be featuring the rated content like Deadpool, but instead Hulu will become the home for that type of content, and none of the Netflix Marvel shows will be ported across to Disney+. And lastly, and probably most importantly, it will be launching in the second half of 2019. Now it's only appropriate whilst we're here in Toy Story Land, we talk about some Toy Story news. Out of nowhere yesterday, Disney released the first official teaser trailer for Toy Story 4. Now despite this teaser trailer being only very short, it did introduce us to the new character to a forky that Bonnie adds to the gang. Now if I'm being totally honest, this teaser trailer does feel slightly bizarre. And to me personally, it doesn't really quite fit the tone of the entire iconic franchise. But then today, Pixar released yet another teaser that was more of a reaction trailer instead. But don't forget that these aren't really even teaser trailers, as they're more announcement trailers than anything else. And so to add to all of this hype for Toy Story 4 coming out next summer in June, Tom Hanks and Tim Allen have both raised about how good the story and the ending to the franchise is going to be. So I'm sure Pixar will deliver another heart-wrenching, tear-jerking Toy Story movie once again. And meanwhile, whilst we're talking about some movie news, Entertainment Weekly released a load of new images for Mary Poppins Returns that is flying into theatres on December 19th. And from within the exclusive with the director Rob Marshall, it seems as if Disney had very, very high hopes for how well this movie is going to be received. Along the same lines as how Disney felt about J.J. Abrams' The Force Awakens as they announced Star Wars Land ahead of the restart of the Star Wars saga. Now obviously Disney are not expecting Mary Poppins Returns to gross anywhere near $2 billion worldwide this Christmas, but from what 
what was already said within this exclusive, Disney are all in on Mary Poppins once again, which is definitely a very good thing as it may directly impact the presence of a flying nanny within the parks as well. But now it's over to you Walton is. I would like to know, number one, what were your thoughts of the brand new Toy Story 4 teaser trailer and also the reaction trailer and also if you could have any Disney character, Star Wars, Marvel, any character within the Disney canon had their own show on the Disney Plus streaming service, which character would it be and why? And of course don't forget to put the timestamp for where the Hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video along with your suggestion or your comment to be in with a chance to win an official Waltonier enamel pin. And congratulations to this Waltonier here for winning this suggestion from a previous video where we were talking all about the Disney Skyliner service coming to Walt Disney World next year. And so that's it for today. So go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel. Hit that notification icon and download the DSMI Newscast app for iPhone as it is a great way to stay up to date with all of the latest Disney news with breaking news notifications. And if you've enjoyed today's video, give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.